oh no, you found yourself in this position where you need to create a Windows 10 bootable USB ISO. However, you use a Mac, so it's a little bit difficult to do this if you don't have a Windows machine. And in my position, my wife's hard drive died, her machine is no more. We put in a new hard drive, now we have to figure out how to install Windows. I'm gonna tell you how to do it, and then I'm gonna show you the step-by-step. -step. I compressed the time a little bit so you don't have to wait so much, but two quick notes. Number one, if you have any issues, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer your question. Number two, I don't actually go through the steps to install Windows. I'm just showing you how to create the bootable disk for the Windows machine so that you can install it. So I'm only showing you how to create that disk. So this is how you make a Windows 10 USB using a Mac and you're gonna be using your Mac's terminal. So you're typing in some commands and that sort of thing. Step one, and I'm gonna show you how to do all this. Step one is to download the Windows 10 ISO file. Step two, you're gonna insert your USB drive into the Mac. Step three, you're gonna use a command called disk util to identify what drive your USB is mounted on. Step four, you're gonna format your USB drive to work with Windows. Step five, you're gonna use a command called HD util to mount the Windows 10 folder and then prepare to transfer it. Step six, you're gonna copy the Windows ISO over to your USB drive. And step seven, you will put that USB drive into your new PC and start loading Windows. Shout out to Free Code Camp and Quincy Larson for the uh, directions to do this. I'm gonna put a link because he uh, lays it out in, the, in sort of the text format and I'll be referencing it throughout. Spoiler alert. I was not able to install Windows because we had further hardware issues, but the disk actually worked. The USB worked just fine. I was able to run commands and go through most of the steps to install Windows, and then it would fail at the very end. And again, we had another hardware issue. So here's how you do it. I'll uh, now show you after I've told you exactly what you do. So you head over to the Microsoft site and you download whatever version of Windows you need. We're getting the 64 bit here. Here's the free code camp link that I explained to you before. I found it very helpful to just have it open so that you can copy and paste. You'll do a lot of clicking back and forth. It pretty much goes step by step here. There's a couple little things you may have to check on, but essentially they show you all the commands there. Quincy explains what he's doing and why in many cases, but the big issue is you're unable to create a Windows bootable disk using like boot camp or whatever it's called on Mac. So you have to kind of go a roundabout way. You actually have to install some other libraries and tools. Uh, I, I don't even know what they really are. I don't know what you use them for otherwise. I don't use them normally but they allow you to create a much larger file than what you're normally able to transfer. And that's the issue that we run into here. Basically, we have to create a file that's larger than what we're normally able to do for a PC on a Mac. So it's a very roundabout way to do it. As we're just hanging out here waiting for things to install, you should check out the other stuff on my channel. I normally talk about making money online. I'm one of those guys. And I've actually been doing it full time. I used to do IT project management for some big companies. I used to work at Accenture and Amdocs and I'm a PMP. 
and I accidentally got into affiliate marketing and it's pretty fun. So now I work for myself and occasionally have to help my wife troubleshoot things on her computer. So I'm going to just let this go here and you could keep watching and see how it goes. It does it does take a little while to do this. I'm actually using a fairly fast machine. Well, it's all relative, but I'm using a fairly fast um, Mac mini to do this with a pretty good amount of memory. So I imagine for most other machines or less powerful machines, it may take a little while for all this stuff to, to happen. We're coming into the home stretch here. And as I mentioned to you before, we actually had trouble successfully installing Windows. It was quite a bummer. We were able to use the disk and run all the commands that we needed to. It's a, it seems to be like a common issue where sometimes, or at least an issue where we could find evidence of it in forums where people were trying to install Windows and it would fail at the very end. So I want to wish you good luck. Very good luck. You're going to need it. I don't know why my wife still uses Windows, but she still does. So good luck on your side. I hope this video was helpful and do check out the other videos on the channel if you're interested in making money online.